Until you learn to say no, people will take advantage of you. You'll be fixing kitchen sinks for your neighbors, for your friends, your lovers. You'll be renovating houses for people simply because you have lost the self-respect to say, you know what? I have the time to do it, but I need to spend time for myself. It's not healthy for me to keep doing things for others. Guys, you got to take time for yourself. I don't care if it's your mother, a stranger, or a friend. Be there for others, but don't forget yourself. And you have to know what it takes to keep you in a healthy place. I, at this point in my life, middle age, I would cut my mother out of my life. I would cut a friend out of my life. I would cut anyone out of my life that didn't respect healthy boundaries that I need to keep my sanity, my peace, and my well-being. And I don't play games with people in my personal life as far as if we're going to be friends, if we look at like, dif- if we look at life differently, I don't want to waste any more years of my life going back and forth. Like what you say doesn't matter. Like, like, you know, politically, religiously, whatever way I don't fuck with Donald Trump. Okay. Period. So th- that eliminate those people out of my life. Okay. I don't want to do certain things when It appears I'm helping people, but I am getting emotionally hurt. I know when to say no. Okay. That's what has helped me with my self-care. Okay. So eliminate those people out of your life. Okay. I don't want to hang your ceiling fan if you buy me coffee. Okay. Okay. But like I said, you're going to have senior citizens who make, you know, $2,500 a month social security. They got other investments. They'll have you working with a wrench under their sink to save $100 rather than calling a plumber. I don't want to do it. People take advantage of you. A senior citizen will take advantage of you. A middle-aged man, a psychopath on YouTube who has a failed channel with the mental health of a dookie stain will take advantage of you emotionally boundaries. When I was young, same thing. You'll have friends that if you keep trying to impress them, they'll keep asking more and more of you till you lose all your dignity. And you know what you eventually got to tell them? Go fuck yourself. Because most of those friends, they their life has failed miserably. Okay? You were right to say no. You were right to say no. Guys, I don't care if it's your mother, a friend, or a psychopath. You have to take charge of your life and be there for others, but don't forget yourself. And if something is unhealthy for you, you're either not going to do it, you're going to put up boundaries and circumstances if you are going to engage that's healthy for you. Okay? And just eliminate the people that you know, you know like you don't want to get involved with. Because, guys, this is why I tell you live below your means, okay? This is why I tell you live below your means. Because the more you're on the hook to people, the more they take advantage of you. And if someone brings up that they did something for you, sorry, here we go, cut them out of my life. Because, guys, same thing with you. Like, if you hang a ceiling fan for your neighbor and she's hot, and you keep holding it over her head that you, you, oh, you promised me, you know, a dinner. You promised me coffee. Then you're fucked up too. Guys, don't do something for people and expect it back. You're taking advantage of them. And I tell you, don't do anything for someone as far as work if you're not compensated. Okay. That way there's no, there's no, there's no fucking even game. Okay. Don't be an usher at church. Uh, you know, don't volunteer in a soup kitchen unless you're going to completely do it and not expect anything. You'll be serving the homeless in a soup kitchen while they do drugs nonstop. They're destroying your life and you're sacrificing time with your family, with gym time, with personal self-care time. And these people are destroying your life. Let a government worker help. You know, that's the truth. Okay. At a certain point, based on what you can handle, don't let people take advantage of you. Okay, because guys, what I found in life, okay, is that people are fucking suffering. They're mentally breaking down, emotionally, 
financially, and their life is a complete disaster, okay? And then they look at you like your life's a disaster because you're the only one that at least you are striving, and I feel better now than I ever did. I do, okay? Now, some people look at that like, crazy. you're living out of your car, you're screaming in this video. Hey, guys, look, I don't care if you don't understand it, because I'm not, not going to let you take advantage of me. There was some guy with a failed YouTube channel from Canada. His name is Enjoy the Dream Life. Total political junkie, okay? Conservative from Canada with universal health care. The same type of guy, okay, that Mr. Wonderful is. Mr. Wonderful's a Canadian, okay? He's another guy that borrowed $10,000 from his mother because he got fired from an ice cream shop. Real socialist, okay? So this guy enjoyed a dream life. He bought a vacation property in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Okay, he thinks he's going to be Donald Trump. You know, but what he doesn't understand is after coronavirus, his his uh property is going to go bankrupt just like Donald Trump. Okay, but he's not smart like Donald Trump. He's got two two videos on his channel that he stole from someone else, and they're a complete disaster. And he should leave the comments on so people could tell him, "Look, your videos suck." Okay, this guy was trying to take advantage of me. Okay, leaving crazy comments on my, a section. And then tell other people you should leave the comments on. YouTube don't care. Well, how do you like these comments, man? Okay? How do you like these? Your videos suck. Okay? I think you're mentally disturbed. I think you want to suck Donald Trump's dick. That's what I think. Okay? And what I can tell you, bro, be thankful you got universal health care. Okay? Be thankful. Okay? Because the way your mind operates, I could tell you probably borrowed money from your parents to buy that property. I could tell. Okay? So, guys, look. What I could tell you is if you don't start telling people no... You're going to be fixing their property. You're going to be trying to fix their life. And they're going to change their story a million times. You're going to be running in a circle. You're going to be running in a circle. What happens until you say no? You go in a circle. You'll get married two times. You'll, you'll build two houses. And then when you're 60, you're going to say, fuck everybody. You're going to die miserable getting taken care of in a senior facility with a foreign worker. And you're going to die the coronavirus. And you voted for Trump. Why? Because don't no one want to fuck with you. Okay? That's truth. Okay. So what I can tell you is this, guys. Uh, don't let people take advantage of you. Period. 